So we have been listening for a hundred years to people who have no conceptual understanding of nutrition give us advice about nutrition. And the companies that make the foods, they're the people that are telling us what to eat. And you know, we bought it hook, line, and sinker without question because of this greater myth that the MD can do no wrong. And we genuflect at that altar every day because we believe that the MD is, you know, has some access to information that the rest of us don't have. It's nonsense. Right. right. They don't know anything about nutrition at all. And because of that, we're suffering rapidly and poorly here. And there's no greater example of this than cholesterol. Wow. Cholesterol is so important to our bodies that our bodies make it. 75% of our brains right. are made from cholesterol. The part of the brain that's affected by Alzheimer's, 95% of that part of the brain is made from cholesterol. All of the nerves in the body are made from cholesterol. All of the walls of all of the trillions of cells in the body are made from cholesterol. All of your sex hormones made from cholesterol. I'm paying attention now. All of your stress hormones made from cholesterol. It's all cholesterol all the time. And it's an extremely important nutrient for the human body. Extremely important. And if you look at it, Alzheimer's, right, has risen from obscurity to the sixth leading cause of death now in exactly the same time frame that statin drugs have been introduced to the world market. Oh, wow. Since statin drugs were introduced, and what do statin drugs do? They lower cholesterol. Alzheimer's has skyrocketed. But interestingly enough, the heart disease statistics have remained unchanged. So while we've been driving cholesterol into the ditch right. with statin drugs and exercise and fat-free diets, oh, fat is the antichrist, right? Heart disease has remained unchanged, but Alzheimer's has risen from obscurity to the sixth leading cause of death. All of a sudden, erectile dysfunction is a thing. That was never a thing before. Right. And women are getting hot flushes, menopausal women are getting hot flushes for five years instead of five weeks like their grandparents. Uh -huh. Why is this? Because all of those things to, be, to have healthy sex hormones and to have a healthy brain and central nervous system, you need cholesterol. And it is, there are two big, there's a, a number of myths that we suffer from in this country. Sure. Two of the biggest ones are, as for when it comes to nutrition, are that you can get all the nutrients your body needs just from eating from the four food groups. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? You can't. And number two, cholesterol is the antichrist and should be avoided at all costs. It's completely wrong. And the MDs are killing us, literally, because we're believing that misinformation. Right. So what we really need is butter and eggs and salt and food that's high in cholesterol. Right now, right. if you have uh, uh, an illness that's related to uh, a central nervous system, sure. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you have Parkinson's or multiple sclerosis or Alzheimer's disease or dementia um, or Lou Gehrig's disease. Uh, it, or erectile dysfunction, or hot flushes of menopause, if you have illnesses that are related to the hormonal system, or if you have illnesses that are related to the central nervous system, then our recommendation, which is backed, by the way, by Harvard University, a diet that's 80% fat, 80% fat. Now, in addition, of course, right, the healthy start pack, mm -hmm. the healthy brain and heart pack, right. specifically for this category of illnesses, um, the healthy brain and heart pack, one healthy brain and heart pack per 100 pounds of body weight per month is an excellent starting point. But when you're in this category of illness, mm -hmm. you also, in addition to eliminating the 10 bad foods, must increase your consumption of foods that are high in cholesterol. And if you do those three things, increase cholesterol, eliminate the 10 bad foods, and take the healthy heart and brain pack, one per 100 pounds of body weight per month, then you will optimize your body's ability to recover to a remarkable degree. And this is a, another thing that we need not overlook. Mm -hmm. Everything that we do is pragmatic and based on results, right? right. It's, this is all results driven. This is why the longevity company, Dr. Wallach's company, has uh, grown 1100% in this economy in the last year because it works. 
And when it comes to anything, you know, the proof of the pudding's in the eating. And if people simply used that standard of what works and what doesn't work, right. what's the cost-benefit ratio? You know, what are the side effects that I'm going to get by this therapy compared to the benefits that I'm going to get from this therapy, whatever it is? Mm -hmm. If people just used that simple standard, EM, all the MDs would be out of business in five years. Right. Right? Because the MD therapeutics for chronic health disease don't fix anything. They manage it. They manage it, and they're loaded with side effects. Right? So results. Results is what we look for, and that's why we recommend for everybody, whatever health category you're in, give us 90 days. 90 days to, to show you a noticeable, measurable, positive change in your health condition. And once we have secured a little bit of, of, of uh, headway there, really it's just a matter of time before your body fixes itself to the degree that it's able to. And that, again, is uh, a beautiful thing.